First on four, it's supposed to be the happiest day of her life, but instead, just two months from her wedding, a Brownsville bride has no dress. She says the shop owner took her money and is nowhere to be found. Action Force Daisy Barrera is on this story live tonight. Daisy. Bride is in a predicament. She's out a thousand bucks and now has to start looking for another wedding dress. But apparently police say she hasn't been the only one ripped off by the owner of the downtown dress shop, Ceci's Fashions. Well, it was exciting and we started looking for things. And After two years of dating, Lily Najera and her fiance, Jose Egia, decided to tie the knot. He proposed in October and she wasted no time in getting to planning her fairy tale wedding. And of course, one of the most important things on the bride's checklist was the dress. After some shopping around, Najera found a 1,200 package deal at Ceci's Fashions in downtown Brownsville. And there was the most convenience that I got. It was a breast prize with a lot of things. That's why I got it. In, in this store. And even better was the customer service she got from dress shop owner Juana Alejandrina Mascorro, better known as Janie. She actually was friendly. Uh, she works with everything to you. And she was okay. She was fine at the beginning. Fast forward to $1,000 later and just two months away from her wedding, and all that has changed. Nahira has been struggling since late March to get a hold of Mascorro, and each time she visits the shop, it's closed. On one recent occasion, she showed up, and another disgruntled customer was at the door with a sheriff deputy looking for answers. Well, I have to start looking for another address, and we're, it's uh, two months now from my wedding, so I need to start looking for another address. And hopefully I can find one in right now, practically right now. Are you worried about Yeah. Yeah, I am worried. Browser police now have a warrant out for Mascorro on several theft charges. They say Najera is not the only customer that's gone the runaround on her investment. This groom-to-be is hoping this issue is resolved quickly so the big day won't be ruined. It's putting our, our wedding in jeopardy. Um, definitely, I want her to be happy and... If she's not happy, I'm not happy, so obviously it's a frustrating situation for us. Several disgruntled customers showed up complaining about the business while our cameras were rolling. Some say they'll be happy with just getting their money back so they can go elsewhere for another dress. Police have not been able to locate Mascorro at her business or home address. Live in the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action for News. Let's hope she gets that dress back. If you want us to take action for you, contact us on the Action for Facebook page. Send us a tweet at KGBT or use the Listens line. It's listens at valleycentral.com to send an email.